applications of CRISPR and how it can supposedly change everything. As I attempted to portray in the title, CRISPR is one of the hopefully greatest discoveries for human survival in history. Everything in science fiction could come to pass if the people researching this technique are successful. Intro to CRISPR The official definition of CRISPR is clustered regularly, interspaced, short, palindromic repeats, but that's really confusing. The general idea of CRISPR, and maybe a little bit more uh, specific to my article, is genome editing and gene or nucleotide tracing. If you're unfamiliar with the word genome, think of it as the entire encompassment of your genes. This technique can change a single gene or like thousands or millions of DNA strands throughout your body original function, what CRISPR used to be and how it's changed. So CRISPR's original function was to track embryonic genes within organisms in their early stages of development. The scientist Alexander Shire simply wanted to make sure he destroyed a gene in his zebrafish embryo. Rather than destroying this gene, he devised a new way to track and trace genes with a colleague who was also from Harvard. So how does CRISPR work? To fully understand CRISPR, you have to have a little bit of background knowledge. What I initially assumed was that CRISPR was a machine, but in actuality, CRISPR is something that goes on inside bacteria to fight off viruses. When a bacteria is attacked by a virus and it gets into the DNA strand inside, CRISPR is deployed, though what's actually fighting the virus is an enzyme called Cas9. CRISPR is thought to be the best gene editing because it is extremely precise. When the virus inserts itself into the DNA of the bacteria, Cas9 uses the infected strand as a template to find others like it and cuts the infected sequence or strand off think of like a surgeon. How can we harness CRISPR? The amazing thing about it is that it takes any foreign DNA and eradicates it, or marks it with extreme precision. Imagine giving CRISPR a gene that you don't want in your body, like a heritable cancer, and it will potentially eradicate it. So here's a little bit of clarification. Uh, I keep using like the words potentially and hopefully and possibly uh, because this is a very out there science. Not many people have gotten solid, like earth shattering, game changing results. Uh, but many scientists do see it going to amazing places. So how does this article and its contents relate to DNA barcoding? As of right now, DNA barcoding is the backbone of utilizing CRISPR. Scientists are tracking certain genes or nucleotides within organisms to potentially eradicate them. And just for some further clarification, I'm going to define DNA barcoding. To use a short DNA sequence from a certain region standardized to identify a species. CRISPR is using DNA barcoding in such a way as to track and trace certain sequences, genes, or nucleotides to either eradicate or mark them. CRISPR in the future. Now, CRISPR was being studied and fantasized about far before this new discovery, uh, like the the one from my article. CRISPR has turned into the sci-fi fan's dream with the possibility of editing everything in the body, from removing heritable diseases to changing hair color. As of right now, all this is purely speculation, but the science behind it is promising. Many have experimented with a very small portion of this technique.